Divisa Now, the number one place for news and politics. Welcome to Divisa Now. I'm your host, Edward Rannigan. Today, we'll be talking about the United Workers' Party, or the UWP. But before we get into that, I would like to briefly mention a few things that have happened since our last video on our electoral predictions. First of all, the CRP and Foxhound have merged into one party based upon their shared principles especially in regards to free market capitalism and liberty. This will likely benefit uh, both parties as they'll be able to concentrate their efforts uh, far better and be able to get a single party uh, running rather than splitting the votes between them. This occurred after some discussion and to see what kind of similarities they have and they largely agreed, especially in the mental principles and what they disagreed on they were largely agreeing on how they got there, and they want to against either side. Neo of the SGDA has announced that he is running for president, with Wolf as his vice president. SM Farmer and Runa have announced on the torch that they're also running for president on the UWP platform, with SM being the uh, candidate for president and Runa for vice president. With that sorted, let us briefly talk about their platform. For a start, they are syndicalists at their core, and they value workplace democracy as the core of their platform, and they want to achieve that not with state power, but by declaring the right to unionize and strike as sacred, thereby allowing the worker to win it by themselves. So workers can strike, they can demand workplace democracy, and the employers will have to give it to them because they're striking. Now, not every party might agree with that, especially Fox Sound or the SGDA, but this is what they are pr promising. They also want heavy land reform, either through characterization or through an a almost Rockian idea of you work it, you own it. Uh, Foxhound and SGDA might have a hard time of arguing against this, though they might be able to find various ways of doing so. Action Division will have a better shot at fighting it due to their far-right anti-communist platform and ideology. Uh, the UWP also want key industries to be nationalized and unions encouraged among public workers independent of the government to ensure those same workers are being treated fairly. So the UWP, as you can see, are very, very pro-union. Other parties aren't quite as pro-union, even if they are largely pro-union in principle. The UWP also supports a wealth cap, but I have not been able to find what that wealth cap will actually be. So hopefully they will say what we meant they are setting the wealth at in their campaigning, but we'll have to wait and see what that is. But hopefully they do say that so we can better ha talk about it and what impact that will have. They also want to invest in both housing and private transportation, which is the most matter at the platform uh, plank, I mean. Uh, the SGDA probably had the same platform as well. Same plank, I mean. They also want to socialize education and healthcare completely, which is Bravo for Italian, but that is what they want, and they want to support democracy and socialism abroad, which is probably their most imperialist uh, pra uh, plank of their platform. It open them up to a strong attacks from Fox Sound and West imperialist parties from that plank itself. But we'll see if they can argue for that fairly and in a way that will get voters on their side. They also want to turn banks into credit unions and they want to support science and technology, and they also support the idea of peerish right to self-determination. So now that we have discussed that platform, let us look into the electoral outlook. So they are allied with the marxist leninist CPD, who we have covered up already, and this will allow them to less split up the vote and have a more concentrated attack on the capitalists and far-right parties and so on that they will be running against. And they will have strong opposition from the anti-leftist Action Divisa Party, as well as the anti-communist parties of SGDA and the Foxhound Party. So they will probably have a very strong competition with those parties, and being able to be allied with the CPD means that they don't have to worry about splitting their vote as much, while, say, SGDA and Foxhound might have a bit of a uh, vote split. And, but their communist platform might also make it hard for moderate leftists to support them, because they don't want all these uh, very hard socialize all the industries platforms. So we have to see how the moderates react to that, and they might just go for the SGDA, who are the most moderate of the parties. Uh, but they also have a very strong, uh, concentrated power base, especially in the north, and that could mean that they do very well there, because they have all these connections and they're based there, but a more decentralized party, and a party that is based more in the south, such as Fox Central or SGDA, might be able to do better overall, 
uh, especially in the south, because they are less decentralized, I mean less centralized, uh, and they are decentralized themselves, so be able to better communicate with the country as a whole, rather than a single state or two. And a rough cap will likely alienate those who don't hate the rich, and the rich themselves, which will get uh, a lot of parties to have funding, which they won't get, because the rich will try and support parties that are in opposition to that earth cap, because they don't want their cap, I mean their wealth, to be stolen. And they have a goal of supporting a democracy and socialism board, which, I, as I mentioned before, will bring the wrath of the more isolationist types, who see that as being very imperialist in nature. And that is kind of imperialist, they're supporting socialism and democracy of the board, and how that will work out in practice. And the nationalization policies will open themselves um, themselves up to attack for the, from their supposedly anarchist nature and very libertarian nature, and then they're supporting policies that will massively increase the power of the state because they control so many of these industries. That is not very libertarian, that's very authoritarian, and a part of the CPD part, so I don't know why libertarians, so-called, are supporting that thing. But let us see if they can argue for that from a libertarian angle and how that will get them on their side. But we'll have to see them actually argue for it which we will do so in the campaign. But that is the show for today. I have been your host, Edward Renegan, and this is The Vision Now.